Okay guys, so I went to Walmart again today and did another haul. I'm sure you're so surprised. Um, so basically today I asked myself, self, what would you do if the truckers actually did go on strike and you couldn't go back to the grocery store? Would you be set? Would you have everything that you needed for the next couple weeks? And the answer was no. Um, I don't think you're ever prepared enough, but there were a few things that I needed to get. So this is like a pretty large haul that I did today. And I would say confidently I could get through the rest of the year, if not longer, with everything that I have in my house right now. So anyway, I'm going to try to go through everything here. First of all, this is nothing to do with preps, but aren't they cute? <laughs> Need some house slippers just, you know, walking around the cold tile floors. Um, got some hamburger buns because I bunch of, have a bunch of hamburgers in the freezer. Um, and I'll probably freeze these hamburger buns. Got my protein shakes, which I'm going through pretty regularly. I couldn't find a big case. They were sold out of the larger packs. Got my bunch of canned goods. And I did take the flats. Um, which somebody suggested, and yes, it's so much easier to um, load up, and it'll be so much easier to store with. And the reason I got so many canned goods is because um, they sent home a little paper in my son's backpack saying that they're doing a canned food drive, which is weird because they haven't done a canned food drive in years. Like, years. <laughs> and so I was like, well, that's odd. Um... They're not getting my preps. I'm just kidding. Um, but I did want to contribute. So um, some of these, just 10 of them, he's going to turn in and they're going to go towards uh, the school or canned food drive, whatever it is. I got three of these chicken noodleos. I think I did one, two, three. What did I, do? I got three, I guess, cream of mushrooms, six. Um, tomato condensed soups, and I'm not sure which I'm keeping and which is going to the food drive. Um, let's see how I want to split this up. I got three pork and beans, three spaghetti rings or spaghettios with meatballs. I did two. What did I do? Two corn and four green beans. I like the French style green beans personally. Um, so yeah, that's going to go up. I got a big can of yams. I'm probably going to use this for Thanksgiving and keep my other smaller cans in the prepper pantry. Two more cans of uh, luncheon meat, generic Spam, which I still haven't tried yet to see if it's as good as Spam is. And when I say as good as Spam, I actually like Spam. So I know like people tease, it, tease me and think it's like a terrible thing to eat, but I like it. Um, two cans of diced tomatoes, got, I, I've always been getting these, um, tikka masala sauce kits, which are delicious, and they're, um, like two ninety seven or something, and then I saw this one, which I'm gonna try, hopefully that's good, um, I got some gnocchi, I don't know, just a bunch of random stuff, I love gnocchi, got a 26 pack of these Slim Jim minis, um, those should be... Let's see the date. These should be shelf stable for a while. Uh, next year, middle of next year. Got another thing of taco shells. I probably have about three of these up now. One more thing of vegetable oil. These um, kind of like a fast uh, cheat seasoning mix for pot roast. Um, more allergy medicine. My son does have pet allergies, and even though I have a golden doodle, which is supposed to be hypoallergenic, he does um, get the itchy throat, watery eyes, and that kind of stuff. So I do not want to be out of this um, if there's a shutdown. Got him more toothpaste, ibuprofen, just a 100 pack. And they were complete. This is the only thing of ibuprofen besides the really expensive actual Advil. They were like cleared out of ibuprofen. It was really weird. I should have taken a picture of it. Uh, I got my bay leaves, which everyone suggests to put with the rice and pasta. Rice, maybe? Um, to keep critters from getting in there. So I'm going to put that in my um, big food grade storage container. Gum. That's just for work. I got three of these tuna salad kits. These are actually really good. 
And I know I can make a can of tuna and put some crackers with it for much cheaper, but these are just convenient for um, work. You know, you just grab one and go. I got a bag of pretzel sticks and more tortilla chips. I still have a ton of these. Did get my turkey, which was a great deal. Got the butter ball. It was 98 cents a pound. So it's only 11 bucks for 11 pound turkey. And that's all I need. It's really just me and my son. I probably don't even need a whole turkey, but I enjoy making them. Uh, got a DiGiorno pizza, four pound bag of these seasoned fries. These I got on the last haul and we've like gone through them. They're delicious. These are really good in the air fryer. Um, some hot dogs. I think I have hot dog buns in my deep freezer. More bacon. Another mega pack. This is going into the deep freezer with the other two or three that I have in there. Um, ice cream. This probably needs to go in the freezer right away before it melts. <laughs> um, a pork loin. A sirloin pork roast. Some cream or what, sour cream. That stuff. Uh, chicken tenders or chicken nuggets and these look they look like McDonald's chicken nuggets I feel like my son would like those got a giant pack of chicken breast and it was on sale it was a couple dollars off a normal price I guess it's getting close to expiration date which is fine for me because I'm just going to individually wrap these and put them um, the what is it called vacuum sealer I'm going to vacuum seal them got another 18 count of eggs Got four of these pizza lunchables, some buttermilk biscuits. These are like tiny mini biscuits. Um, they're pretty good. And then some crescent rolls. Um, got another pack of toilet paper and some training pads for my pup. These are the extra large ones because the bigger he gets, the bigger his accidents get. <laughs> and then some Gatorades. These are the perfect little size for my son's lunchbox. More Kool-Aid because every time I go I get Kool-Aid. And then I got another one of these big storage containers. I'm sorry the camera's like all over the place. It's hard to film. Um, another one of these big storage containers for under my son's bed. I have two under there now that are already full. And then I grabbed a 20 pound bag of jasmine rice. I love the taste of jasmine rice. If you haven't tried it um try some it's very um flagrant fragrant <laughs> i'm using the wrong word here it tastes delicious that's what it is um and i have a 25 pound bag that i got at bj's so i'm going to add this 20 pounds um to one of those food grade storage buckets i gotta go get at lowe's and yeah i think that's about it um like i said uh with everything i have now I feel like I could definitely make it through the entire year and I think I'm going to show you guys what my prepper pantry is looking like right now um, just to give you an idea because you kind of see these videos um, piece by piece but you don't see how it really adds up um, but yeah I'll show you that next pantry pretty packed I pulled out a couple things um, that were kind of just stacked in there so I could kind of show you guys everything. I'm going to kind of go through the shelves here. Organize it as best as I can, but um, this is everything I got. Kind of looks like a grocery store. Um, down there we have some more things. This is the basket I got at the Dollar Tree for my Bear Creek soups. These two I also got at the Dollar Tree for the Nor rice and pasta sides. These chips don't just sit on the floor like this. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Um, I just had those stacked up and I wanted to pull them out. So I could show you what I got. This is shelf number two. A pretty good variety of different things here and then up on the top is going to be all of my meats and they do go 
all the way back most of the stacks do. Let's see, oils, baking goods, sauces, I guess. And then, so this is like an extra closet that I keep just sweaters in. I'm in Florida, you don't need sweaters very often, so I don't need a whole lot of storage space for those. This area here, I wish I had more closet space because I would like to organize this a little bit. Can't really see what all's in there. Um, some Velveeta, a bunch of Top Ramen, Pop-Tarts, drinks. I guess there's some Cheez-Its down there and some popcorn. Um, crackers, grits, oatmeal, breadcrumbs, granola bars, cake stuff. I think there's some crackers and some cereal back there too. And then some drinks and some more cereal and some wine. But yeah, this is the prepper pantry as it is right now. And then I also have one more pantry that I'm working on. And I have three bins of food under my son's bunk bed, which I'll show you next. This is one of the bins that's hiding under my son's bunk bed. And I have a bunch of, I guess, baking goods, biscuits, mashed potatoes. And then underneath all of this is a bunch of canned goods. And I guess Velveeta cheese. What is that? Oh, that's my powdered milk. I probably should label what's in here on the outside of it so I know what I have. I'm not really worried about it right now. But yeah, that is one of the bins. This is a bin that I just bought and I'm kind of getting it organized. I'm going to put all my drink mixes in here. And then I guess I just really have other random stuff. This one's not very well organized, but got some canned goods, some macaroni and cheese, and then some snacks. So this is just all the stuff that really didn't have a home. And I have some more space I can fill that one up. And this last bin just wound up being all of my condiments and spices and seasonings. There's sauces, you know, all the ketchup and mayo and all that good stuff. My bouillon, that's all there in one area. This was harder to put on the racks, so I'm glad that um, I had this perfect size container for them. And there they are, just lined up under the bunk bed. He barely even notices that they're there. And last but not least, um, but actually this was the first prepper pantry closet. If you've been with me for a while, I used to have those metal racks in here, but kind of outgrew the space and had to overflow into another closet. Um, up on the top here, I have a bunch of my dehydrated eggs. Back behind there is a bunch of mountain house meals. I have, let's see if I can move this aside, pasta galore, um, spaghetti, fettuccine, egg noodles, there's some shells back there, some penne, macaroni, large shells, so that's kind of my pasta area there. Um, down here I have a couple things of the instant rice. My sugar, flour, more sugar and flour that I need to put up. Um, all those white boxes down there are dehydrated food. Um, yeah, I think they're dehydrated. I think that's what they are. And then these four um, black bins are my 30-day food supply, dehydrated, long shelf life food stuff. I have... My rice in here, I think that's maybe a little over 30 pounds of long grain rice. Um, that's a 25 pound bag of jasmine rice and I have another 20 pound bag I have to add. 
and then just some other random things here some canned goods spaghetti sauce that I don't have a home for but yeah that is it and I think I'll be good. <laughs> I know I'm going to be good on all of this food for longer than the end of the year. Honestly, I think if I had to, I could stretch it for an entire year, which would be a fun challenge. <laughs> but um, thanks for joining me again, guys. Please subscribe if you're new here. And if you've been around for a while, thanks for coming back.